entertain you tonight, but it's your job to be entertained. Now, if you can tell me what we do, hold on, we'll, we'll catch up, I promise. For 
some reason, I thought it would be a good idea to work with children. Uh, <laughs> um, and I'm currently a teacher up in Fort Wayne, uh, teaching middle school choir. So again, um, <laughs> I'm telling you, students are just crazy, crazy awesome people. I mean, I never have a boring day at work, ever. I mean, if those students could just yeah. foster their creativity into learning, it'd be another story. <laughs> I gotta tell you, I, was, I had a student who took his report card, report card home the other day, and his mom was like, son, why is your report card soaking wet? He's like, well, ma, it's because it was all below sea level. <laughs> <laughs> Outside fixing, fixing up his church, you know, the walls were a little bit, you know, falling apart. So he's trying to see what he could do and, you know, just pull the weeds from the ground and everything from between the cracks of the pavement and everything, just to try to make it look more presentable and welcoming. And not, you know, after an hour after he'd been out there, a little girl with pulling a red wagon comes along. And as she's coming, all of a sudden, the, one of the wheels falls off the wagon. And she just, she just comes to the phone, she says, and the pastor says, now, now, young lady, I, I recognize you from our church, and at Sunday school, I, I know we teach you to use better language than that. And she says, I know, sir, I'm so sorry, I just got so mad. And he's like, well, it, it's okay, it's okay, but just next time, when you get frustrated, you just take a deep breath and say, just raise your hands to the heaven and say, praise be the Lord, and all your problems will be solved, I promise. She's like, okay, Reverend, I, I will, I, I will, I promise. And so he fixed up the wagon wheel for her and sent her along her, along her way. And not 20 feet down the sidewalk, all four wheels fell off his wagon. <laughs> and, and so he just, he didn't go over and help, he just sort of watched just to see. And uh, the little girl clenched her fish, fists and just went, praise be the Lord. And with that, all four wagon wheels popped right back on. <laughs> and the preacher looked at that and went, damn. <laughs>
Um, I do gotta say, I, my words obviously get pretty jumbled, and I gotta, I gotta explain that my students, they're able to talk like a hundred miles like a minute, and like sometimes like, Mr. Higgs, blah, 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 I'm like, wait, 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 what was the first word you just said? And, um, but they do have a really good sense of humor. One of them told me a joke the other day. They said, what is, what is Beethoven's favorite food? ba na 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 <laughs>
more money into the it is great. I know I know these three guys have grown up grown up in the country and you know that is all that is all great. I grew up in the city, I'm a city boy through and through, which is maybe kind of sad to some of you, but um, so sometimes the ways of the country are a little bit foreign to me, and that sort of reminds me of a little story of, of a friend I have. Um, he lives in Bangladesh, <laughs> and so he actually came and visited me one um, one year, and he just he came to Indiana, and you know just to sort of explore and just sort of see how different the culture was here. And um, he was on his own one day, and he was walking down the train tracks, and um, just to set train tracks. But see, and again, he's from Bangladesh. I mean, he rides an donkey to and from work. He's never seen an automobile in his life, right? And so he's just not familiar with the technology nowadays. And um, so he's walking along, along these train tracks, and all of a sudden you hear just a boop, boop, and um, you know, he doesn't think anything of it because he's never seen a train before, right? So he just keeps walking along the track, and sure enough, boom, he gets hit right by that train, and I know what you're thinking. No, he did not die, you know, but he was, he was mortally maimed, but, he, I mean, he was just, uh, I mean, he was in the hospital maybe a year or two, so he's okay, he's all right now, but as soon as he got out, you know, I just, I felt so bad, I felt like I should have at least told him that trains exist or something, but, um, so I, I invited him back over to my house, and I was like, you know, let, let me make you, let me make you some tea, so I put a tea kettle on the stove, and, <laughs> And uh, sure enough, the, that water was ready, and it went, and it just started whistling, and just, he got this look in his eyes. And he ran to my garage and grabbed a baseball bat and just beat the tar out of my light tea kettle and just broke it into pieces, like water everywhere. Just, I just looked at him, and I was like, why, why did you break my tea kettle? I was going to make your tea from that. He's like, Theo, you got to get these things while they're young. <laughs> Gator tune, 